Greetings, folks of YouTube. Performance reviews, where I give you the reviews from the technician's point of view. And what that means is I'm going to be giving my opinions and experience based on a vacuum technician. If you're new to the channel, I'm a veteran of the vacuum industry. I've been in the industry over 18 years. I have lots of experience with vacuum cleaners, and I'm even crazy enough to collect them. So let's get on with this list of the top five budget vacuum cleaners. Now, if you were expecting a list of the top five cheapest vacuum cleaners, that's not what this list is. This is a list of the top five budget vacuum cleaners that are actually worth buying. And we have to define budget because it's 2022 and things have gotten a little bit weird with money and numbers and inflation. So back in 2010, the average price of a vacuum cleaner was $600. Yes, that includes the Walmart specials. So now in 2022, if we add inflation, we can see what we're dealing with when we talk about budget vacuums. By budget, I'm going to say under $800. I know it sounds absurd today, but that's really where we're at. Now, that doesn't mean you need to spend $800 to get a decent vacuum cleaner, but it does mean... When you have an expectation of a vacuum cleaner costing you $100, that's just unrealistic. And understand that vacuum cleaners are really, for the most part, in like one of two categories. Either they are built to last 1,000 or 2,000 working hours, which is about 10 to 20 years in the average household, or they're meant to be disposable, like a Band-Aid or a cigarette lighter or something like that. So they're meant to be used for a short period of time and then thrown away. Don't you worry. I have one that's kind of in between here for our first pick, which is the Hoover Tempo T-Series. And Hoover has recently rebranded this machine to change the colors, but you can see in this listing, and I'll put down below links to all these. So whatever's current in Hoover's lineup, they're going to continue making this machine because it is an excellent value. And these have sold anywhere between $150 up to about $250. And I would say it's worth it in either of those price points because it's a damn good value. And it's a bagged up right. Some of the models do hard floors. They'll have a hard floor carpet switch. You can get parts and Hoover stands by their warrant. A lot of budget companies don't do that. All right, before we go on to the next one, we're going to talk about Shark. That's not going to be on this list. Shark does not really honor their warranties. That's a whole bad customer service experience. You can go do your own research online. In fact, you don't even have to take my word for it. Call up your local vacuum repair shop and see what they say. All right, my next pick is the Missile Zing Simplicity Gel and whatever other name they're going to put on this machine. This is a fantastic little straight suction canister. Great for hard floors or area rugs. It's not for wall to wall carpet. So if you have wall-to-wall -wall carpet, this machine's not for you. But it's fantastic if you have an apartment, a smaller house, and just need something that's strong. Again, the prices are all over the board on these. They're really a great value, and I highly recommend it. You might also want to pair it with a turbo brush if you have pets and area rugs. Again, we'll have a link below to this turbo brush, but a TK286 is going to be available for this machine and my next pick. I, of course, just have a review on this wonderful Abyssal Work accessory. So my next pick is going to be any of the compact Henrys, whether that's a James, a Hetty, a Henry, a Henry Allergy. They are all wonderful machines. They are strong and they are built to last 2,000 working hours. They do area rugs, hard floor, and commercial style carpeting like no other. There is a reason they make millions and sell millions of these things a year. The Henry Compact family of vacuums definitely deserves a place on this list. And if we were making a list of top five best vacuum cleaners, it would probably make it onto that list as well. Definitely consider getting a Henry. The next one on this list is going to be an upright and does all kinds of flooring. And that's going to be the SIBO Dart and SIBO Felix series of machines. Both of these are a fantastic value. You can go into your local dealer and get a SIBO Felix with a 10 year warranty. That itself is just like an amazing value. So right now in 2022, again, these prices are subject to change. Uh, it's about $700 for a Felix, but if you are not interested in having a hard floor tool, telescoping handle, a swivel neck, speed control, you can get a Sibo Dart right now for about $550 to $600, and I think that is just a fantastic value, and that's a machine that will last you, again, 2,000 plus working hours for years to come, and the expendables and repair costs of Sibo are among some of the best in the industry in terms of price for what you get. And then there's another added value. This is one of the machines you can get an active charcoal filter for to deal with pet odors. So if you have an animal that's not groomed or you have an animal that has some sort of odor, that makes a big difference. So that earns a place on this list. The next one on this list is probably going to be 
a little bit of a controversial pick, but I really believe the Mila S2000 slash C1G, I'm calling it the S2000 because that was the original name of the machine, and if you need any parts, you're going to need to know that phrase. But this machine was designed specifically to be a budget machine from the German appliance manufacturer Mila. Typically, these machines last about 1,015 hours. Mila saying is forever better, which means they continue to improve upon their designs. They are a family-owned company that's not publicly traded, and they take their game very seriously. So the C1 series of cleaners, particularly I think the cat and dog C1 with the electric power head that does both carpet and hard floors is the best value here in the United States. But if you just had hard floors and area rugs, they do have other models of C1. These other models of C1 are a fantastic value as well. You shouldn't have getting anything from the C1 family. In your house. Before I go any further, I want to throw out some honorable mentions that I think are great values, but kind of teeter totter on that budget category. The first pick is the SIBO K3, which is an excellent value. This feature packed canister gives you $1,000 value at sub $1,000 pricing and is feature packed. You should definitely take a look at this machine. The next honorable mention are pretty much everything from Lindhaus. Lindhaus is an Italian commercial cleaning company that so happens to make domestic vacuums. They're highly underrated, but very good some of the best in the industry, and they're all really reasonable priced. They're not quite in the budget category, but definitely worth taking a look at. Their machines are undervalued in the market, particularly the HF6 machine. If you have a large house, it's a great alternative to some of the others. Now, the last one on the list is Orc. Their machines are often on sale, and they have a wide variety of machines, but I'm going to focus on two different ones that I think are the best values. You're going to see and be tempted by some of these commercial machines on the Amazon. Don't buy these. These don't come with a bag dock. They don't really come with much of a warranty. They're meant to be a disposable commodity for certain types of house cleaners. I, again, I just don't recommend it. I would, however, recommend the higher end models, but the Elevate series of machines are based on the classic Orc XL21, which is a time-proven design. And when that machine first hit the market, in the year 2000, think about that. In the year 2000, that machine sold for 750 bucks. The fact that you can get a newer version of that machine that's still mostly made in the U.S. for three to 500 bucks, depending on the version, fantastic value. These machines are excellent at pet hair pickup. They're excellent at carpet pickup. The downside is it doesn't have any accessories. Since the brush roller can't be turned off, it does struggle on a hard floor and can scratch certain types of flooring. But it would be excellent to pair from some of the other canisters on this list, like the Henry or Bissell Zing. Orc also sells them bundled with a little canister, but they're not quite as good as the ones I mentioned on this list. But I don't think that this is fantastic of a value as just this particular upright. Orc Elevate definitely sneaks into this list, despite its roots being quite a high-end vacuum back in the day. All right, folks. Well, I hope that's been useful for you with Black Friday coming around the corner. I will say vacuum cleaners, good vacuum cleaners rarely go on sale on Black Friday. So yeah, you could wait to Black Friday to buy these, but don't expect them to be deeply discounted on Black Friday, if at all. In fact, certain companies like Sebo, Mila, and Lindhouse will not do anything black friday if you thought i missed something on this list comment below i'd love to hear from you please hit that subscribe button that helps us out a whole lot and have yourself a fantastic day